Hey YouTube, Sam here. Well, we are about to start this video by taking this off of this. Now, here's the caveat. This video was going to be a completely different video. I was going to try and pull this apart and see if I could find a rebuild kit or something for it. Because I figured there should be a kit, but there's not. Um, and I looked up, down, and sideways at everything. Couldn't find anything about this, you know. So... I will have a story. I'm going to put a video of the ABS story. So if you're having ABS problems with your Astrovan all-wheel drive, uh, go check out the ABS Astrovan story video. I don't know what it will be titled yet, but I'll have a complete story on it. Because otherwise this video will be just heckin' gone too far. That's the other thing. I talk a lot in this video and try and explain things to you. Um basically for the fact that you need to know what I'm talking about or what I'm saying if you're having these problems and the reason why I did what I did and how I did it and the parts I used to do it. Um, so if you are having a problem first of all and you have a giant leak or even a small leak under your driver's side door it is probably something to do with your ABS system. Now, if the leak is coming out of this off the front here, it's your pressure switch that's leaking. It is not probably your problem. Your problem is probably this. So, we're about to get into the middle of me pulling this apart, and I'm just starting where it, of how to take this off. That's the other thing. You do not need to take this out of your car. You could take this off while it's still hooked to your car underneath. You wouldn't even have to take off the three lines here, just the two lines here, and it's going to be a huge mess even if you bleed or take the fluid out of your ABS reservoir. So, you're forewarned. Um, so, anyway, that's where we're going to be, is getting this off and replacing it. And this was my problem. Not that I can really do anything with the fix what's here, so... One way or another, I'm either replacing this part or replacing the whole thing now. Um, hopefully I can find some used parts because these things are ridiculously expensive for what they are here. Um, it is a T30, Torx Bit 30. Um, and they're a little bit snug, but it wasn't the last one wasn't too bad. But you definitely got a last one I actually ended up having to... Of course, the one I filmed is going to be the harder one. Stop it. Okay. Appear to be the same size. Appear to be the same size. None of them look like they were any kind of a different pitch or anything so I'm just holding them together I'm actually not going to put my head over this in case something pops or sprays or breaks and that doesn't appear now, to make it very easy these all look clear I don't see anything here I can build or repair take an old t-shirt and I'm going to put that over that so that hopefully nothing gets in here and this is what we're looking at right there um, now I've seen a few of these that look identical to this but for some reason they all say they don't fit my van but like I said I'm pretty sure the one out of my truck if I adapted it to this plate right here somehow or needed to, which I would think it probably would. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can, sort of. Um, if I adapted it to that, there is a good chance that any one of these would work on any one of these. As long as the mounting is the same and the holes are all the same, I would think. So I'm thinking the one I see that looks like this, although you never know with pictures. 
would be usable. I'm going to do a little bit more research yet again on this thing. I have not found a whole lot on it, but now I can see more numbers. Uh, so I can maybe look it up by more numbers. And we'll go uh, from well, there. Well, YouTube, um, I looked up, down, and sideways. Couldn't find any kind of rebuild kits. And everything that I saw online that said that things would work for this supposedly would not work now here's the caveat on that and if you choose to do what i do and you mess something up uh you're responsible for yourself i'm not responsible for it i don't know what is going to so happen there's several You'll videos have i have a video um of the pressure sensor switch here re replacing this right here i got another video on just pulling this out of the van now we're to the point where we are trying to diagnose and figure out what the problem is and hopefully fix the problem. Um, but here's what I've come up with. Something with this block right here, which we've separated, we've dug into. I can't find anything wrong with it. Uh, at least I can't figure out if there is something wrong with it. I'm assuming this is the problem. Could be there's something in here that caused this to go bad. That I don't know. We will find out. Um, but here's the thing. Called up my buddy at the local wrecking yard. And he was like everybody else. That basically this part is non-existent basically. There's non-existent. And the, it only ones that fit on these or will work with these are the, I believe, and don't, you have to do your own research on this too. Is like the 88 to 98 van all-wheel drive only um, and that this is all just for that um, which very well could be but I started looking around and looking around and as you can see these are identical looking units they're both Kelsey Hayes they have stickers in the same spots everything about them is identical as far as looks now there could be computer things that are different there could be orifices that are different sizes and definitely and this is why i think they say they won't work here's the reason why i think not positive but i think if you look on the bottom of these although everything else is the same the actual plate system is not now i can pull this plate off and stick it onto this pretty much brand new system but and here's the big but there's a couple reasons why i'm not one i'm pretty sure this part works this is the this is the problem that's not number two i don't know for sure that this is going to work even if all in all everything's the same the computer might be different there might be something in here that does not allow this box to work with that one Honestly, I bet I could bolt this to here and everything would work fine. But here's the third problem I'm having. The guy, at my, my buddy at the parts store, said that th somebody brought this one back because it didn't work for what they needed it for. Does that mean they were trying to use it in something else? Does that mean they were trying to do the same thing as me and it didn't work? Does that mean this is a defective thing? Which, if you look at it, it's got all the caps on it. It's got, you know, the parts are all here. Everything's ready to go to put this into, let's see, what is this? A 1995 Tahoe. 1995 Tahoe. So supposedly that's what this goes into, is a 95 Tahoe. And for some reason they brought it back to him and said it didn't work. Don't know why. I'm hoping he wasn't having the same problem and it doesn't look like there's any fluids or anything in here and it's hopefully not this part because what I'm going to do is take this part off which is identical to this part all in all everything identical these numbers do not match but everything else is identical so I can't see why this won't work but we shall see I'm going to check the orifices and make sure that the orifice sizes look similar um, and all that but i'm going to take this off i'm going to put it on here and i'm going to clean this up and reuse this one because i know like i said this probably will work with my van this part is not working 
this looks identical. So we're going to go with it. I know that was a long explanation, but I feel it just needs to be in this video so that all my cards are on the table. I got this in my vise, and I was able to get this off. And all in all, yet again, everything looks the same. I'll tell you what, the funny thing about, like, when I've, I got numbers on these, and uh, this one starts with 09, this one starts with 09, but all the rest of the numbers are different. Same thing with all the ones on the body of the actual part. Uh, most of them start with the same numbers, at least the ones I looked at. I only looked at a couple. This one starts with a 1, 1, 3, and this is a 1, 1, I think 0. So they're starting with the same numbers and actually ending with the same numbers, or in this case, this is an S. It ends with an, a 1S and a 1S on this one too. So, I mean, they look identical. They're formed identical. The orifices look like the same size orifices. All in all, I'm positive, or at least fairly positive, that these are identical parts. The worst part is, is that from inside here and inside here, it looks about the same. And I will say... That although the outside of the body looks very clean, the actual, uh, unlike mine, the actual inside is not as clean. I noticed when I popped this off as well that one of these orifices that sticks out of here uh, stayed in the body or in the part rather than in this. So they do actually, I don't know if you can see that, there's the part there. They actually both sides of these pop in and out and I noticed one of those looks kind of clogged up with some gook, gook and when I look down inside here also doesn't look as clean inside which makes me wonder if they just kind of cleaned up the outside of this and sent it down the road as a remanufactured rebuilt part or something like this I don't know where it came from or nothing about this one um, but uh, anyhow I'm going to go ahead and shoot some brake cleaner through this, clean up those orifices, make this all right, clean as I can. I cleaned up the inside of mine already and actually took a air hose, which you have to carefully do because things will start shooting out of, brake fluid will start shooting out of this. Took an air hose and actually put some air in there. That may prove to be a problematic thing later on down the road, but I did, really didn't want a bunch of brake cleaner going through here. Um, because I do know that inside of here, there are also some screens and things that will get clogged up as time goes on, which very well may be what's wrong with this one. I don't know. Um, so I'm going to do the best I can, clean it everything I can. I'm going to put the part from this back onto my original one, and we'll go from there. Um, I know this isn't much of a how-to video. It's more if you're having the same problem I am with any of your GM vehicles from... I don't know what years, but even it even looked like the newer uh, large uh, Chevy vans, I can't remember the name of them, were identical to this. So I think they've used the same brake system for decades now, and for some reason with the all-wheel drive and the Astro van stuff, they say it won't interchange, and I'm really hoping it will. At the very least... We'll find out if this part should interchange. I mean, if you all in all, it should. It really should. You know, that could just be my me trying to convince myself. But even if you're having the exact same problem as me, you might get away with being able to just pull that off the front of another one at a wrecking yard, or see if you can find somebody that has that part. Like I said, the only place I ever I found anything or a picture of it was on O'Reilly's, and O'Reilly's said, even though it said it was in stock online said that I couldn't get it to their store so I went in a different route plus it was like 140 some bucks you're probably going to pay more than that or at least that for one of these if you have to buy the whole thing at a wrecking yard um, because this one didn't work I got a buddy deal probably going on I don't know I may end up spending 140 bucks on this who knows um, so we'll find that out later and I probably won't talk about prices because this is going to totally vary depending on who you know what you know and where well, you have all to go all, I'm happy it all fit on there just fine everything matched up where it should I actually uh, went ahead and took uh, one of the orifices and this one was kind of clogged up semen so 
I pulled it out and I replaced it with the one in the other one. Um, cleaned it all up best I could. Uh, shot stuff through all this and fluid seems to be throwing, flowing through it. So next step is to put this thing in. Um, so next time you see me, either I will have a working van or I won't probably on this video. Dude, well, I got the ABS back in. Um, quite honestly, I didn't finish off the plate down on the bottom or Loctite it in yet, but um, once I'm done doing testing and I know it's not leaking, and I know I'm not going to have to pull everything back out again, I will climb underneath there and put that uh, rock guard or whatever it is underneath there and throw some Loctite on those bolts uh, just to, or on the nuts to make sure that they are done. But I have ran it and I put that piece of cardboard down there and other than the leaks that this thing leaks normally there isn't a bunch of brake fluid all over it so uh, i believe i have the actual part in there fixed the part i did off of that right there worked just fine um and i bought this so i will have a video on that um because I was told there was no way I was going to get the air out of this ABS system. And when I started it, I actually did run it a little bit without the tires on it. Uh, yet again, your safety is your responsibility. If you don't like the way I'm doing something, don't do it. And I'm not responsible if you do and you hurt yourself. There you go. Anyway, uh, I did run it for a second and uh, kind of put it in gear and let it go and uh, push the brakes and did all that stuff. The... ABS light came on for a little bit and I hit the brakes a couple more times and it went right out So I don't even know if I'm gonna have to do the ABS bleeding with this, this tool Now like I said, I'll have a video on it at some Regarding point the tube. Here it is. It's out. It's been driving for a few weeks now There's been a couple of pretty good snowy days where we've been driving it and the ABS is working awesome so um, at least as far as my van was concerned, I did not need to use the tool. The tool did not work for uh, bleeding the brakes on this. All I had to do was just bleed the brakes like I normally bleed the brakes. Um, just had my son behind there pushing on the brakes while I cracked things open and uh, bled them normal. Uh, lots of videos out there on how to bleed your brakes, so go find one of those. I don't, I didn't really do one, so uh, I was going to, but. The Harbor Freight tool I was going to try and use didn't work anyway. So, regardless, uh, it does seem to be working just fine. We're not having any problems anymore. So, this is Sam, Jack of All, Master of None. You all have a good one.